Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is of course Constantine and today in the world of new gaming we are going to be finally playing Lost in Random and this one is a title I've been waiting for this entire year. Really excited about this one because this game has been created by Zoin Games and this is a studio I've been following for quite some time and I'm really in love with the type of games that they're creating. Now, Lost in Random here is published by EA Originals, and I absolutely love what EA Originals are doing because lately they have been publishing some amazing games, and this one right here is no exception. Now, from what I've seen in the trailers and gameplays provided by developers for this game, uh, this one's definitely gonna have like a really gorgeous looking style to it. May I say a Burton-esque look to it? Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy this one as much as I am, just because I'm really in love with these type of adventure games. And in the future, I'm definitely planning on bringing even more adventures just like this one, because this is definitely my favorite genre of gaming out there. So that being said, guys, sit back, relax, and uh, let's just jump all together into the world of Lost in Random. remember from your dreams the power of randomness was celebrated by all those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance epic tournaments in which their very lives would hang in the balance <laughs> what is this this looks really epic I'm pretty sure this is dicey, right? Whoa. It's kind of crazy that it's already throwing us inside the game. Hurry! Get the energy! Get the dice energy. Is he kind of throwing us into like a tutorial here? Alright, so by the looks of it, we gotta collect all this energy. And of course, we are gonna have the dash ability. Uh, hole for heavy attack. Interesting. Whoa! That is cool! No, no, no! What the? Hmm. So we gotta charge up the attack and then release. Ah, that's how you do it. Interesting. Alright, look at that. We got ourselves a lot of energy. Throw. Oh, are we just rolling the dice? And we're, of course, supposed to hit it. Right? Are we supposed to hit it? <laughs> I'm not even sure. No, I think we're just supposed to leave the dimension. Ah, uh, I get it. We just threw the dice, and that one gave us a new weapon. Interesting. No, no, no. Get out of there. Wow, this weapon is actually pretty cool. I'm not. I'm good. Man, but the secondary attack with this one, though, so much better than the other one. wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery our story begins later in Wancroft a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand attention warners I am the queen and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- Nuh-uh, uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice snake eye. <laughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. 
Even I promised mom and dad to get you home. The queen! It's the queen! <laughs> hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Is she my older sister or the twin sister? Because I'm not quite sure. It does look like she protected me. Whoa. Oh, man. But look at this. Is that the queen right there on the left side? They have the dice. Follow odds. Man, but this game looks so gorgeous, though. I mean, I was not expecting less from this team. Just because Zoink Games make some really gorgeous games. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure that's the queen, yeah, on top of that spider over there. Oh, what the? Nope, never mind. She has multiple spiders. Come on, run, run. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. I have a feeling we're gonna get caught here, though. Yep, just as I thought. Shoot it with this. Ah, there we go. It's not doing anything. It's definitely not doing anything. I think. Yeah, we gotta shoot this. What the? <laughs> that was pretty cool. Wait, what do we got here? We got another path, but that's a different path. I don't think I want to go there. Yeah. Wait, was there somebody in the window? It is. What the heck? Oh no! 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 Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Dang <laughs> it! I should definitely stay on track here, eh? I was just a little bit curious on this character over here. Can I shoot it? Nope, we cannot. All right, let's keep on going then. Apparently, we gotta stay on track. My God, everybody's scared. What does the queen want, though? Random rules. Random rules. Whoa. That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping. Nanny Fortuna. Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice, which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Ah, uh, it's uh, an old crow's face. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. <laughs> For the queen's wisdom is as right, wide sneak past as Nanny. her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she said. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new villages, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is... Joy! Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true I'm not supposed to go up there, actually. day to fix the fates of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy that oh, no, no. <laughs> her representative be the Nene Fortuna is coming. I just wanted to listen to what she's about to say there. Man, you can hear all the way up here as well. What the heck? Alright, did we just make it all the way home? I think we did, right? Even, Odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. We can get down. Oh, I get it. Our parents are trying to hide us so that we're not being taken away. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute! Make a wish. <sighs> oh no, they found us. Are you serious right now? And the 
the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules. Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Oh my god, look at the Queen. This looks epic. Is she not gonna speak? I don't think she is, no. Alright, so I guess she gave me the dice, dice so I can roll it. Kind of or she roll it. Truly are. A one. What? It had been settled. At least, she'll be a sixer. Even! Oh, no! Stop it! No, even And so, Vaught's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen, up in the Sixer's palace. Well, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning. You kidding me? So this is where the adventure is starting. Oh, I think I'm having a dream. Lord, where, where are you? I really like the names of these two characters, even number and odds. So cool. Alright, uh, let me try to make my way towards the light then. Damn, but this world looks so good. I'm coming for you, sis. Ooh. Is that her? Mm, I don't think so, no. Something is definitely flowing here, but it's Hold not her. On. The heck? We're gonna do our best. Tell me where you are, Odd. Help me find you. Odd. I'm, I'm here, sis. Oh, man. I'm coming, Odd. <laughs> so our entire journey, of course, is gonna be to have to climb all the way to the Queen's castle. Odd? Whoa, what are those? The heck? <laughs> well, that was a dream. That was so weird. More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her. And in all that time... Wait, I just woke up and I'm already seeing ghosts again. Like that before. <laughs> but... The world, though, looks so strange. Apparently, I'm sleeping in a box of matches. Even knew she was now awake and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or hmm. was it simply that she had changed? You know what? I just noticed, and I had no idea about this, but me personally, I absolutely love these games where you're playing with small characters in huge worlds. And by the looks of it, that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, and I have no idea about this one, but look at this. We were sleeping inside a box of matches, and also the books seem to be giant as well. Yeah, we definitely look like midgets for sure. A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas. And then drowned in the eighth. Oh God! A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Onecroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. <laughs> An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. 
When it comes to these type of adventure games, I'm just a sucker for lore. I absolutely love going through all these lore An elements. Image of great great grandfather Peters, two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. There's so many pictures of even the family right here, though. Always painted, and she'd share with even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen. And she had eyes and ears everywhere. Odd shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by even. She never wanted to forget her sister. These paintings showed stories Evan's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the cardmakers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. What about this? What do we got here on this table? Evan's father never told her stories. He hmm. preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. All right, hold up. Let me check on my parents. Apparently, they are still sleeping. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even <laughs> didn't want to wake her parents. Even the parents are sleeping inside a uh, fish can. <laughs> this world is so weird. Uh, hold up. Am I supposed to check the door here as well? Evan's parents had locked the door securely, uh -huh. as they had every so we cannot go out. Odd was taken. All right, uh, we do have like some sort of a map, or no, no, this is another painting. The what is that? Painting Evan's mother had ever that looks made weird. was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious Shadow Man who gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Huh. Evan was too old to believe in such stories, or at least. That's what she told herself. What is this thing doing here? Oh, the ghost again. <laughs> it's going right through it. Oh, is that the doll? That we gave to my sister? Even stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even That's right. her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. Ah oh man, this is a world. A tiny child in a huge world. Just the type of style of game that I really enjoy playing. Right, bedtime stories. Uh, follow the glowing figure. All right, let's keep on going then. That oh, we can also sprint. Seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. What the heck is this? Man, the characters in this world so Oof. weird. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. <laughs> I'm on a trail of a ghost. I'm on a trail for my sister. I'm on a trail of a... I, I don't know what it is, but I don't... But I know it's important. Let's go with that one. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. It's weird that this creature here is friendly. Maybe she looks like more like a frog? You're wasting my time. I don't have. Move. Uh, I need to get past you. Let's go with that. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right. I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me. Deal? All right. Thanks. You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. It's interesting that we're gonna have choices of text right here. 
I'm curious what would have happened if I was a little bit meaner to her and told her to just move. Um, hmm. I don't know if you have multiple paths here or if it's just gonna be linear. Can I shoot that? <laughs> yes, but my thing is not strong enough. I have a feeling we're gonna have to get stronger weapons. This was Wongroft, the world in which even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Hmm. Uh, find the ghost. Is that the ghost over there? Oh no, those, that's not the ghost. That's just some controls I'm gonna probably be able to interact with. But what about these kids here? Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Aw, oh, shucks. Now I'm all out of potato. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Um, let's go with... Yeah. Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. <laughs> hey, Lucky, that's mean! Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. Uh, what are y'all doing here? We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. Hmm. Why are y'all so late outside? I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. <laughs> uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Uh, I don't understand why I don't really have a voice. I wish that whenever I was selecting one of these texts that even he would also speak. I would also love to hear her voice. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and he meant how come he even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Uh, I think she might be sending me a message from Sixopia somehow. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, right. Like a Sixer would ever care about her wanna. Please. <laughs> it could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun I love with your mysteries cool as well. Mystery, even. See you later. All right, guys. Have fun up uh, playing around, I guess. That was interesting. Now I do see another path through here as well. Let me go ahead and check it out. Huh. Hold up. Before I do that, let me just see what this is. Though I really want to interact with these lights and see what these do. Whoa! Not bad, even. Coins. Interesting. I'm not impressed. Look at that. that too, if I wanted. No Interesting. Problem. I'm really curious Amazing. why I'm collecting those coins. Huh. I also see like a ladder over here taking me at the bottom. And also that creature in the back there. There's so many paths that we're going to be able to take. Hold up. First of all, let me go through the sewers a little bit here. Let me try to figure this out. Doesn't this look like the path I took in order to come back here? Yes, it definitely does. And look at this. A little bit more of these fishies, whatever these are. Huh. I'm really curious why I'm collecting these coins. I'm definitely going to have to spend them for something. Uh, something that I don't really know what I'm supposed to spend them on just yet. I do see yet another one all the way back there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to shoot that far, though. I am. Never mind. And all those coins are going to make it all into uh, my character. I don't see anything back there either. Hmm. Hold up, was there anything all the way up here? 
Now, by the looks of it, uh, at the moment there are no possibilities of jumping. Oh, never mind. This is just the path taking me back home. But I do see another statue over there that I'm supposed to shoot at. And I think that is probably kind of about it. Yeah, I definitely don't see no more at the moment. Alright, let's keep on going then. I think we got enough coins. That was pretty interesting. So let me try to make my way through... Uh, not through here. Through here instead. Of course, we're also going to be able to go back down using this ladder. But we already done that. Journal and map. Ah, look at this. We even have like a journal here. Spurred by a remarkable dream. Even searches her house for something. And soon, she would found it. The toy she give odds. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is kind of the map we're trying to explore right now. Uh, the teapot streets. Interesting. And right now we're making our way into one craft. I see that there's also collectibles, of course. Look at that. Uh, zero out of two pages. And that's about everything we're going to be able to collect so far. Hmm. All right, let's keep on going. What the heck? Look at this creature. Man, you there are some like really strange creatures in this world. <laughs> Uh, a ghost. I think it knows where my sister is. Let's go with I, a ghost. I think it might be my sister. I think it's done something to my sister. Let's go with this one. Ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. But she needs my help. Hmm. Let's go with that's what you think. That it is, that it is. But I didn't get this far by chasing after ghosts, and I recommend you do the same, even. Go on home. Your parents will be worried. You know what? I think I just noticed the ghost behind it. Yeah, look at that. The ghost is right over there on the left side. Huh. It doesn't like we can interact with the characters, though. Man, these ones look like my parents. <laughs> Uh, and I don't see no more statues around here that I'm supposed to shoot to get some more coins. So, let me just make my way towards the uh, ghost. <gasps> there. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Wait, what? What is this? Bedtime stories. Find the ghost. I mean, that one is complete. Next up, follow the ghost. Hold up, before I do that, um, I just noticed another creature over here. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. Hmm. Yeah, this guy is definitely not going to allow me to cross. But before I'm going to chat with him, look at that. We just found. More coins. Anything back here? Ah, there is a passage at the bottom. Interesting. You can't be here, little girl. Uh, can you let me into the harbor? I, I'm just a harmless little girl. Let's go with that. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Why, I'd walk you home myself if I wasn't so busy guarding this area, as you can see. It's a very important job. Now run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. Uh, anything fun going on on the harbor? Uh, the, the loading of junk onto boats. Clearly, all day long, and all year long, and all life long, there's only one thing that happens here. Junk gets loaded onto boats. Hmm. What does the queen get out of this? Sorry, that's classified. Uh, top secret, very royal. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not what they're doing on the docks. Ah, the very idea that the queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me, a random one or security guard. No, 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 no. No, I assure you, I definitely know all the good stuff. I'm uh, just not willing to share them. <laughs> you can tell me. I'm just a little girl. Ha! Ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should entrust the Queen's state secrets, which I assure you I'm definitely privy to, with you. Now run along home. It's past your bedtime. All right, buddy. All right. I guess I'm going to have to come back here later on. I don't really want to go uh, into the harbor. 
I just want to keep on following... Oh, hold up. I just want to keep on following the ghost first before I'm going to keep on doing anything else. Look at it. It keeps on running away from me. Uh, come on! Or whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? I don't know, but you won't what? Uh, this is the OneCraft slums. Uh, let me just try to grab as many coins as I can then while I do that. Why not? Whoa, what is this? Is this like a wolf? Random rules, even. Random rules. Random rules. I feel like we're supposed to buy something from this fellow, but man, he looks well. really creepy. Well, well, well. Look at you. What about me? So far from home. And oh no. Alone. Please don't kidnap me. Lucky the queen is looking out for you, child. You've heard the good news, haven't you? Uh, enlighten me. The queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her. Because you know a rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> hmm. And that's good news? She's never wrong. She makes the rules. Random rules. And they're always right. It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, up riding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. Alright, I really do need to go now. <laughs> uh, let's go with you really love the queen, eh? More than life. I just want to be her, to be with her, I mean, to feel her hand on my head and know she judged me and found me good. It would completely destroy me. I'd love every minute of it. All right, fanboy. The town was unique. Some who lived here were kind. Treating the queen with respect, and others seem to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known. Man, this world is really strange, but I absolutely love these type of games. This is really epic. Uh, hold up, apparently there is also a path through the mist here. But uh, I don't really see where this is taking me to. I do see another one of those right over there. Nope, a little bit higher. I miss. Let's try this again. There we go. More coins. I love that they're flying into me. I'm not supposed to go to them to grab them. And of course, this thing is going to keep on running. Let's grab that. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So... Two-sided. Hmm. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? Uh, like in Sixtopia? Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, it must be so wonderful there. Be recognized as the best of us. <laughs> I wonder what the other places are like, though. I hear everyone works so hard there. It's where the magical cards used to be made, you know. Petropolis. What about uh, Forberg? Before the war, it was a sight to behold. Now, though, after the Queen ruined it trying to find those <coughs> awful rebels, <sighs> it's so dreadful there. Uh, what about freedom? The glory of battle, yours for the taking. I could be a hero. Man, I actually love the names of uh, all these towns. Look at that, they're all kind of mix and matching with numbers. Just like this one, like in Two Town. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two-sided. Hmm. All right, uh, what do you ask? I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned 12 and the queen came and made me rule. 
Roll myself a one. She told me I was born in the wrong town, and now I'm here. And I'll never get back there again. Ah, that is so strange. So that's exactly what's happening. Every single time the kids are turning 12, they have to roll the dice, and whatever number fails, they're gonna have to move to that specific town location. That is not fair. It doesn't have to be equal to be fair. It's what my mom always used to say. Before she... Before I... Well... It's, uh... Ancient history now. The Queen works in mysterious ways. And it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice. Knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one... Gosh... I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. Alright, have you seen any ghosts? By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. <laughs> I don't need more of them. See you around, kid. Alright, buddy. This is really beautiful. I'm starting to uh, understand this world more and more as I keep on playing here. And uh, let me tell you guys, I'm really loving it. Really loving it so far. Hold up, before I'm gonna go after the dice that the ghost actually, I just wanted to go back here for a second to see if there are any more statues. I mean, I've already shot one on this side, so I'm guessing that's why we had to come here. Alright, let's keep on going then. So the ghost keeps on running away on that side, not sure where he's going. Search the outskirts. Ooh, hold up, before I do that, let me grab a little bit of this. Thank you. And uh, I don't see any more statues anymore, so let me keep on going then. I don't see any more statues anymore. <laughs> me and my English. So the ghost is right here. Hmm. Let me check the map for a second. Yeah, look at that. We made it to... The slums. Oh, you know what I just noticed? Of course, the place we are in right now is called One Cro One Croft because it's a town with a name that starts with One. Are you kidding me? This is really epic. Now, how am I supposed to get out of here? Wait, is this like a witch's hat? Or maybe more like a bell? But it definitely feels like a witch's hat. All right, I do see the ghost that all the way back there. Figure even knew that her fate was changing. That her future was suddenly filled with unknowns. And she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. Hmm. I saw a light back there in the distance I tried to shoot at, but it didn't work. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, but look at these freaking hands coming out of the mist. This world is really spooky. Um, what the heck was that? Please don't eat me. Whatever this strange world is, please don't eat me. Oh, what the heck is this? This is like a broken dice. And by the looks of it, I'm gonna be able to go inside it. I don't think this is the dice uh, dicey that we're gonna be able to play with, right? I mean, it definitely looks like it. Oh, you know what? I can see water coming out of its eyes like he cried before. I think we just found three cards. Are those lice? <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Maybe we just unlocked some new abilities. Did we? 
Ah, yes, we did. Look at that. We just got rewards. Mysterious playing cards. These playing cards are beautifully painted, and in some angles, they seem to glow a faint blue. What? Oh, these are the pips. So I'm curious if they're pips creatures on two legs, hopping around in a little jar. What am I supposed to do with them? Is that like a collectible or more like an ability? I don't even know. Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. Wait, is this like a black hole I'm supposed to jump in? Ah. Uh. Huh. Stop running away from me! The harbor. Oh, you know what? We just made it to the harbor. Huh. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Uh, you know what? I feel like if I do make it to this boat here, I may be able to get to the second town. Which, of course, I forgot its name. But I'm definitely going to get it back once I'm going to see it around here. Oh, look at this one. A snake Those eye. Those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself? Uh, yeah. I don't really know much about them, though. And I have a feeling this guy's gonna teach me. Well, heck, let me take a look. <laughs> maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. I don't know if I should trust them. Although, I don't know what to do with them, so let's go with sure. Well, look at these! Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks did trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, it was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Hmm. Consequences? Yeah. Look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now. The most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometime. Hmm. Alright, buddy. Now, he didn't really teach me how to use these cards, at least not just yet, but at least he kind of told me that I'm probably supposed to look for a lot of cards around that I'm going to be able to use eventually. Um, there's definitely quite a lot of paths around here, but uh, they seem to be blocked. Let me just grab this thing first of all. Yeah, there are these lights up ahead, and I'm pretty sure that if I do make my way inside these lights, I will get caught. Oh, no! Take it! I knew it! Alright, hold up. <laughs> Before I'm gonna make my way over there, then, let me see what I can find up here, then. Ah, more cards. So let me go ahead and grab... Nope, this one. Thank you very much. Not cards, but more like lights. Ooh, what is that? Is that like a collectible or more cards? It's probably more cards. Huh. Look at this turning around. Yeah, it feels like this is the main path that I should have taken. Of course, there's probably going to be also side paths for side quests that we're going to be able to interact with. But first of all, let me activate this one again. Actually, you know what? This one does look like the side path that I should have taken. Because this one is allowing me to grab this hidden card over here. Let me also go ahead and shoot at that fish all the way back in the distance here, can I? Ooh, it worked! <laughs> I was not expecting it. We're collecting so many coins. Awesome. Still, I don't know what to do with these coins. But I'm pretty sure we are going to find out very soon. Oh, look at this reward, a story page book, an illustration page from an old uh, forbidden storybook. Collect and read them in Evans Blinder. Huh, so if I go here, 
We're definitely gonna be able to... Ah, uh, there's... This is the one that we just collected. Uh, this was gorgeous. A long time ago in random, dice were everywhere and used to decide everything. Wondering what to wear, what to create, who to become. Any question, as long as it could be answered with a number, could be found by the spark of magic contained within the dice. And the king and queen of random were, well, decent to good. Life was wild. Life was free. Life was random. <laughs> oh, man, I love these stories that we're going to be able to find around the world. And I love it that the narrator is actually reading them. All right, well, uh, I think this is exactly what we had to come here for. Uh, I don't believe we got to do anything on this side. So let me try to make my way back downstairs. And I cannot go through here. Hmm. So I'm definitely going to have to do this again. Oh, wait, what? I had no idea that was going to turn there. So we'll come back then, buddy. I'm curious if I can shoot it while I'm standing on it. So let's just try. Let's see. Can I just sit on it and shoot that thing? No, I cannot. All right. In that case, let's just do this. There we go. And while we're at it, let me also shoot at this one. So activate it this way. Now, as I was saying, I know that there's another path at the bottom that was a little bit more difficult to do. Oh, hold up. I don't think I'm able to cross. Can I? Actually, we can't. Never mind. I gotta hurry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I think I gotta sit here in the middle. Yeah. That was close. Alright, there we go. I do see yet another one of those things that I'm supposed to activate. I'm not quite sure exactly what that's going to do. Uh -huh. I think I just got it. Alright, so we could definitely take in the other path as well, but I would have definitely missed the book. Uh, let me go ahead and click this. Click down in the distance. Perfect. And I got to find a way to get to that thing. All right, let me lower this down. Of course, the game just started. The puzzles are definitely going to be very easy for now. But I'm hoping that they're going to get that a little bit more complicated. As I absolutely love puzzles in the games, in these adventure games that I'm playing. All right, sneak past the red lights. Complete it. Uh, stow away on the boat. So I'm guessing I'm going to be able to stow away through here. But I really want to grab this lore piece over here. And I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to do it. I'm guessing I gotta go back downstairs in order to do it, right? Pretty sure about it, yeah. So let me go ahead and try to collect that piece of lore. But I do have to pay attention for the red light. That oh! Is he seeing me? Nope, it's not. Go, 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 go. I gotta remember that we also have sprint, though. They'll have to remember that. There we go. We got it. Awesome. I was just about to lose this one. When they were ready, or when they were brave enough, the most courageous and random would embark on a great adventure, making their way to the Valley of the Dice. There, in that sacred place, they would choose the dice that they would carry with them for the rest of their lives. Although, some would whisper that the choice wasn't fully theirs to make. Hmm. So, is that the actual journey we are on right now? Making our way to the Valley of the Dice? To try to find that specific dice? Let me try to make my way through here for a second, because I'm going to have to cross back, of course. There's definitely going to be a little bit of a back and forth if you do want to start collecting everything there is in this game for sure. And as you guys know, as a huge completionist, I absolutely love exploring everything there is. And not to mention, grabbing the lore for the adventure games here is definitely worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. 
Now, let me just check this map that we are in right now. Uh, because this one apparently only had like two out of two story pages that we had to collect. And we got, already got everything that we needed. So uh, we're good to leave. All right, we got to figure out a way to stow away in the luggages, I guess, so that we can cross. Pretty sure we can go through the bottom here. Um, These things don't want to move, though. How am I supposed to cross? Wait, something is... Oh, never mind. I think I got to go through here. No, no, but... no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. <laughs> Did he just talk to me? I don't even know. I really wanted to shoot at that thing over there, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it came from, so I don't really need to do that. Uh, I was just looking around to see if I missed anything right here, but I know. I think we're good. So, let me see what this guy was talking about. I'm guessing he's somebody else hiding, right? I don't see him, though. Where you at, buddy? Yeah, that's not gonna be able to cross through there, so I gotta make my way the other way around. Oh, what do we got here? No, go away! Ah, uh, he is the one that was talking with me. Please let me in. I'm trying to hide. What do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My Realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. Come on, Herman. A blubescence? Uh, what's a blubescence? It means something that's delightful. Like my room here. I, I. Wow. You really are just a kid, huh? Well, well guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now, I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find <laughs> your own spot. Uh, but there are no other spots. There are no... Oh, come on! There's gotta be other spots. Go find them. Please, Herman. My sister's in trouble. I have to get aboard on this boat. Oh, for the love of... <sighs> fine. Fine. You little... Little guilt tripper. <laughs> I'll let you in. Thank you. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three, be quiet and don't touch anything. <laughs> I love the rules. We're good. Don't worry about it. Oh, look at this guy. I was actually expecting him to be like a creature, but it looks like he's a human, just like me. Huh. Is he the only one here, though? It definitely feels like it. Uh, go to sleep. Uh, but first, let me chat with this fella. Now, don't make me regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet-like and don't do anything. All right. Uh, I'm on a quest, too. My sister was kidnapped a year ago. Huh. Hey, I happen to be an expert on not being caught. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Shh, shh, quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. You started, you started talking to me. <laughs> I'd like to know more about my partner in crime. Let's go with that. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss Adensy. I'm headed for the cardmaker district. Uh, five tropolis, so... Whatever the queen's call him it these days. And... Hmm, okay, so apparently this guy is going to Five Tropolis. Tell me more about Five Tropolis. Uh, I'm off to find my sister. Let's go with... Uh... Yeah, let's go with this one. Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing. Just... Just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. Alright, buddy. I guess uh, we are going... To another town here. Hmm, uh, is this gonna take us straight down there? I'm pretty sure that once we're gonna wake up, we're definitely gonna be on the second town. 
Alright then, well you know what guys, I think uh, this is gonna be the end of the first episode here of Lost in Random. And of course if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more like this in the future, do make sure you go ahead and uh, hit on that like button down below, as that helps the channel quite a lot. And if you guys are new here to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that, it's completely free. And I'm planning to post even more videos just like this one in the future, playing more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna enjoy. And that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time soon. Bye everybody!